just to bring you up to speed, if you're just now joining us, just over 17, just under 1,700 people watching, okay? Just had a talk with Barnett. Barnett said, listen, I know you're talking to other guys. Mark says you guys are pretty solid. Jessica says, well, okay, well, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'll end it right now. I'll do whatever you want. What do you want me to do? So she goes in. She ends it with Mark in a roundabout kind of way. I need to find myself. I need to explore all the typical. Okay, Mark got the picture. He got out of there. Now, Jessica is about to go and tell Barnett, hey, look at me. I'm not talking to anybody anymore. Here's what happens. She's accepting me from me. And no, now boy. What this relationship looks like. Yeah, you see that? Look at that. Oh, I'm just like, Jessica, she accepts me for who I am and blah, 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 blah. This is a replay of their last interaction. Does that look like a woman who accepts him for him? Does that look like a woman who wants him? You know, I ask you, you know, do you want to spend the rest of your life <laughs> with me? Like, where's your mind at? Like, I can definitely see us walking out of here together. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I can definitely see us. Did you hear that pause? I can definitely see us pause. How can I make him think that I want him without actually telling him I want him? Walking out of here together. Listen to that again. Like Just listen. She says, I can see us. And she paused. She paused. Because now she's trying to think of a way to tell him without telling him, but still making him think that she wants him. Where's your mind at? Like, I can definitely see us walking out of here together. Yeah. See that? I really can. It's kind of weird to say that. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! <laughs> no. I think Jessica and I will be getting married. Oh, boy. Buckle up, guys. Now, <laughs> this is the best part. The best parts of this episode are about to come up. Hang on to your hats, guys. So what's up? I'm sad right now. He's like, so what's up? He's all trying to be all cool. And what'd she say? I'm sad right now. She can't just come right out and say, hey. I don't like you anymore. Oh, I'm sad, right? This is this is too funny. Just watch. This is so crazy. Why? Because I don't uh -oh. like this situation anymore. Uh oh. What are you talking about? I just feel like I'd rather just like walk away from this. Like this is crazy. So many people are gonna get hurt in this. You oh know? my god. Jesus Christ. I don't want you to like hurt. Why are you? What are uh. you talking about? And Mark is like, what? He's like, what the? Mark's confused. He doesn't understand. Wait a minute. Yesterday, you said we'd be walking out of here together, but now? Dude, watch how she just beats around the bush. She doesn't actually... This is one thing you're never... What you guys are going to have to understand is this. A woman will never tell you, Donovan, I do not like you anymore. I like somebody else more than I like you, so I'm going to pursue him and forget about you. No, 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 no. They're going to talk their way around it and let you draw your own conclusion. Women can never be straight up about anything. Least of all, liking another man over, over, over liking you. She All she had to do was tell him straight up. And again, in, in Jessica's defense, she was never going to do that. No woman is ever straight up. It, that, that's, just how it, that, that's just the way it is, right? But a woman is never going to say, hey, listen, this is how it is. Nope. She's going to go all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chasing the weasel. Here it comes, dude. Obviously, like since day one, I've been like, Mark, 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 Mark. Like, that's just been it, you know? You know, our connection is so strong. But, like, I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't... Doing myself a disservice. <laughs> oh, so now it's a moral thing? Now it's a morality thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Pursue relationships <laughs> like I came here to do. <laughs> what the f I get it. You want to weigh out all your options? Oh, my certain. God. I'm certain you were certain when you walked out yesterday. Here comes the hamster. I definitely don't want to jump the gun. No! You know? It's just the truth. I don't want to jump the gun, right? I can see us walking out here together. Now it's I don't want to jump the gun. When your woman starts doing this stuff, it's always another dude, guys. It is always another dude. Women don't just out of nowhere dump you if there's not another man waiting in the wings. If you haven't heard anything I've said over the last couple of days, listen to this. This is what's called branch swinging, guys. This is what's called branch swinging. 
Jessica kind of liked Mark, but she likes Barnett better. Barnett made her work for his affections. That's why she values his commitment. Mark just gave her his commitment, so she doesn't value it as much. So what she did, she said, all right, I could see us walking out of here. And Mark took the bait hook, line, and sinker. Okay, well, I've got Mark on one branch. All right, let me make a move on Barnett. And as soon as I know I'm with Barnett, I'm going to dump Mark. But Barnett wasn't here for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Barnett said, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. You've been talking to Mark. You've been talking to Mark. Listen, listen I'm not trying to put you if you're talking to other guys. She says, what do I need to do? I'll do whatever you want. I'll cut him off, blah, 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 blah. Guess what? Barnett still didn't give her the commitment. So what does she do? She then goes and she's breaking it off with Mark. Guys, this is why you do not give a woman, com this, is why you do not this is why you make her earn your commitment. If you don't make her work for your commitment, she's going to take it for granted. This is why girls leave relationships so easily. Girl, girls want to return on investment too, but if they don't invest anything, it's easy for them to walk away. Guys are always, why can girls just fuck so many guys and just walk away? Because they're not investing anything. All of these guys are giving her attention and affection for literally nothing. If she doesn't invest anything in you, it's going to be easy to walk away from. A girl is not going to walk away from something she's invested in. That's one of the many reasons Devin's probably, well, that's one of the many reasons Devin is still here. Listen, she can leave anytime. I don't know. But Devin invested so much in the year and a half that we were dating, she didn't have a choice. She's like, yo, shit, I'm almost 34 years old. I, what, am, what the fuck am I going to do? This guy's been training me for a year and a half. Like, I want to get something out of this. Women are, a woman will be much slower to leave a relationship that they are invested in. She has to have skin in the game. Doesn't have to be money. Doesn't have to be money, but time, emotion, right? Sweat equity, sometimes money. This is one of the many ways you keep women on the hook. You make her invest in you. Mark didn't make Jessica invest in him. This is why she's leaving him for Barnett, who made her invest in him. For me, it's been different. Like, it's worked in different ways for Jesus me. Jesus Christ. And I don't just care about you. Like, I like I, I love you. Like, it's oh, crazy. Oh, damn. Like, oh, I yep. feel like. Do you see that? You see this? Now we, now we, so he's like, oh, shit, about to lose her. What do I, do? I love you. If a woman wants to dump you, telling her you love her is not going to make her change her mind, gents. Let's run that back. Watch her body language. She's like, oh my God, this son of a bitch loves me. This is the attraction completely draining out of her body. Watch. It's different. Like, it's worked in different ways for Jesus me. Jesus Christ. And I don't just care about you. Like, I, like, I, I love you. Like, it's crazy. Oh, now you it up. I yep. feel like. There that, it is. Like that. The reason why I'm so passionate right now is because, yeah, I feel that towards you. But if you're feeling that with someone else, oh, it like I will. I there it is. See, he knew what it was. He didn't want to accuse her of it. Right. If you're feeling like this about someone else, every guy knows or most guys know that anytime a woman out of nowhere just reverses skate on you, it's because of another guy. I'm going to be open and honest with you. Okay. Oh, God. You're 10 years younger than I am. Oh, oh, now it's a problem. You heard me say it right there. You heard me say it right there. Two, three days ago, oh, I'm 34 and he's 24, but that doesn't make a difference, right? But now she's like, oh, well, I'm 34 and you're 24. Now it's a problem. Now she's grass. Now she's reaching for straws. This is hamster in overdrive. What she is trying, and this is why women hamster. Women hamster because they can never be honest. She can't just tell him, hey, I like Barnett, so I'm I like you, I like him better, so I'm going after him. Nope. Well, I have to follow my heart, and I mean, I'm 34 and you're 24. Like, there's this big age difference. There's a 10-year age difference. There's a 7-year age difference between her and Barnett. Guess what? Wouldn't matter. It's, it's oh, crazy. Jesus. I have created other connections that look like they could potentially plug into my life oh my god like do you see this i have created other connections that could potentially plug into my life dude like how many times can she go around like she can never just say it 
I have made connections that could potentially... No! I like another man. Ladies, check this out, man. And the reason, uh, one of the reasons why women do this is because guys freak out when women are honest with them. Now, Jessica's not being honest with Mark. She thinks she's... Be well, you said you wanted me to be honest. She's not being honest. No, no. She's beating around the bush, guys. She's beating around... That's not... What she's doing is not being honest. All she's doing is telling him... I'm going to kind of leave this alone. No, be straight up with him. Be straight up with him. Tell him, hey, look, I like somebody else. Shit happens. You know? <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, explore everything. Because oh. we have, like, a limited amount of time. And it's oh, like, cool. oh, yeah, of it's, course. You know what I You're mean? my heart. Oh, Jesus. This poor guy. Unbelievable. It feels like I'm an option. That's what it makes me feel like. Oh, Jesus. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here come the I told you how certain I am. I've never been this certain about something in my life. That's oh. the problem, Mark. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight up. Like, if I'm not walking out of here with you, then I'll go my separate way and I'll oh, go home. Dude, here we go. Buckle up, lies. When it, listen, when I tell people that women cannot handle rejection, you're about to see why. So just to bring you up to speed, if you're just now joining us, just over 17, just under 1,700 people watching, okay? For those of you just joining us, Jessica had a talk with Barnett, okay? Just had a talk with Barnett. Barnett said, listen, I know you're talking to other guys. Mark says you guys are pretty solid. Jessica says, well, okay, well, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'll end it right now. I'll do whatever you want. What do you want me to do? So she goes in, she ends it with Mark in a roundabout kind of way. I need to find myself. I need to explore all the typical. Okay, Mark got the picture. He got out of there. Now, Jessica is about to go and tell Barnett, hey, look at me. I'm not talking to anybody anymore. Here's what happens. I'm the perfect person. And I think Barnett is someone I could spend the rest of my life with. I'm ready for him to ask me to marry him. What are you doing? Drinking red wine. Let's do some fun stuff. I want to have fun. Okay, what do you want to do? See that? He said, let's do some fun stuff. I want to have fun. Like, dude, like, you got to bring, like, dude, uh, JB, uh, who somebody just said in the, um, JB84 just says, right. And it's funny that Jessica is the oldest out of all the women, but still hasn't realized she'll have to bring more to the table now. Dude, these women never figure this out until it's too late. Oh, wait a minute. I have to be more than a set smile? Yeah, sweetie, you're 43 years old. You should have realized that a couple of decades ago. Um, 20 questions, truth or dare? Truth or dare. Uh-oh. Is it true that you slept the same way you felt last night? Uh-oh. About me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh sh I don't know. Oh! Oh! Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> Jessica would now you're wife, but after my dates with Amber and Elsie, I'm scared to have to pick between any of these girls because I know all the qualities that they have and all the good. Now Jessica's starting to get pissed. How dare you? The things that can come from each each person. You know? Oh boy. I don't know what's up in my mind. I know I have connections and emotional connections with people. And I don't know how to like differentiate feeling good from, you know, feeling the, you know, L word. Okay, so <clears throat> Barnett is still young, so he's he's playing the roundabout game. He is doing to Jessica what Jessica just did to Mark. Watch a reaction. Almost. Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I feel like I should go. Why? Because. Because. I don't know people like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Oh, I don't know people like you. Yes, you do, and you have. That's why you're here. This is what happens when you do nothing but guys. This is what happens. Somebody said in the chat she hasn't realized that she has to bring more to the table. You're 34. Looking good and being flirty ain't going to cut it, sweetie. It's not going to cut it. 
if a man is going to commit to a woman that old, you better be you better be bringing something to the table. Devin was 32 when I met her. You better fucking believe she had to bring something to the table. Are you kidding me? Or 32. I got a 20 I got a 20 how old is she at the time? I got a 24 year old chasing me chasing me to Reno right now. You better bring something to the table. God. Like I'm not playing this game with you. I'm not trying to play games. I'm trying to feel Luis Cologne says what goes around comes around. No, uh uh-uh, uh I don't believe in karma. I don't believe in karma. Karma is something that people cling and I'm not trying to bag on you here, Luis. But karma is something that people cling to to make them feel better about a wrong that's been done to them. It's just a natural human response. This would be happening to Jessica whether she dumped Mark or not. If what goes around really comes around, then why is it that men who treat women well get Right? If what goes around really comes around, then most men would be happily married. Right? If there was such a thing as karma, then women would reward us for treating them well. They don't do that. Right. That's the that, that is the best example I can give you in terms of why I know karma doesn't exist. It's women. Everything out right now. I'm trying okay, to but why did you, like, I don't know why you said everything you said to me then. See that? Well, I don't know why you said everything you said to me then. Right. Mark said the same thing to her. Yesterday, you said X, Y and Z. I got to follow my heart. Now, Barnett is telling her literally the same thing. Well, what's the problem? What are you trying to figure out? See, here we go. My freaking heart, man. Okay, Louise corrected it. She got what she deserved. You're goddamn right she got what she deserved. Your heart about what? I just don't know what the feeling. I'm trying oh my so God. hard. Yeah, okay, listen. Barnett's young, so I'm going to give him a pass. Repeat after me, Barnett. I don't like you as much as I like the other girl, so I'm going to let you go. That's all he has to say. He's young. He's young. I don't. I wouldn't expect him to be at that level yet. But trust me, when I was 37 years old, guys, when I used to dump girls, I used to be like, hey, check this out. I don't like you anymore. They'd be shocked and, oh, my God, da 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 Hey, listen, you said you wanted honesty. I'm giving you honesty. Goodbye. That was it. That was it. You have, a, you have enough experience with women. You learn, hey, listen, it's not really much use ghosting them. If you really want them to leave you alone, tell them, hey, look, man, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start seeing somebody else. I want to be with somebody else. I don't want to be with you anymore. They get mad and they fling shit and they get all stupid and they start to cry. But guess what? They don't call you. Well, they'll call you, but they're not calling you wondering what the problem. Well, what's the problem? We see when you ghost on a girl, what's the problem? Where are you? Right? But we tell a girl straight up, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. The text messages and calls go, some, uh, go a little something like this. Hey, what did I do wrong? Can we try again? Let me make it up to you. When? Did, how long have you felt this way? At least she knows what's up. Barnett is still very young, so he's got a ways to go. Stop. I don't know what's going on. Now you're trying to figure it out? Like, I know a million guys like you. That's oh, this is too funny. I know a million guys like you. So, <laughs> this is so funny. So, Jessica thinks that, but now, she's not really worried about anything now. She knows that she's done. When girls get rejected, they start flinging insults. You're a f- boy. I, I I know a million guys like you. You're not special. I don't want to marry you anymore. A load of sh- and he called her on it. I know a million guys like you. He said, that's a load of sh-. Barnett just dumped her. She's acting like a typical woman. He's still putting her in her place. B- load of f- back. Now you're trying to figure it out. Like, I know a million guys like you. That's a load of sh-. There's people that don't know what they want, and that's you. You don't know what you want, and that's I'm what trying, a million people have told me. That's what I'm here trying to do, though. That's, okay, cool. well, I'm with somebody else, because I'm this. fucking over this. Fine, go, leave. You told me last night that you were ready to, like, propose to me. Hey, change the f***ing mind. mind, big f***. Just did that shit to you Mark. You literally said that last night. Yeah, you literally just said that <laughs> the other day to Mark. So get the f*** out. I'm not even entertaining this conversation. Leave. This is embarrassing. Then leave. Yeah, um... BK from the Rockies says she means to say I f- a million guys like you. He caught that, okay? She said, listen, I've been with like a million guys have told me. She didn't even, she couldn't even finish the se- sentence. But she says a million guys have told me, blah, 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 blah. Well, wait a minute. You said a million guys have told you that they want to be with you and that they feel the same way, yet not a half an hour ago on this particular episode, you said 
that no man has, no one has ever said that to me. No one has ever said that to me. She literally just lied to us, guys. And I knew she was full. Not 30 minutes ago on this episode, she says, no guy has ever said blah, 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 blah. Yet a million other guys already have. You see where the truth always comes out, guys? You see where the truth always comes out? A woman can lie to you as much as you want, but if you have your eyes open, if you understand womanese, if you're paying attention, a woman will always reveal the truth. It might not happen now, might not happen a week from now, but eventually the truth will come out. Half an hour ago, she told us, no man has ever told me that he wants to marry me. No man has ever told me, no man has ever proposed to me. Yet here she is, well, a million guys have told me. Yeah, told you what? Leave. Get up and go. Let's do it. Good. Here. Old ass. <laughs> <laughs>